This looks good. It looks good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's 1111 on 1111. Welcome to Soul Seekers TV. I'm one of your soul guides, Patricia Rivera Wolfson. I am your other soul guide, Linda Krauss Barnett. We want to welcome you and we would also like to take a moment to acknowledge all the veterans and the people, servicemen and women who have sacrificed um, and made freedom possible. Thank you for your service. And we actually spent this weekend celebrate. That's in, right. Uh, Linda's brother, Ryan Owens, who served our country. And um, it's been a beautiful weekend of it's celebration. It's been a beautiful weekend. And yes. <laughs> something significant also. Yes, yeah, so today um, we're also acknowledging this 1111 portal that has opened. Um, we don't exactly know what it is, um, but we know it's But it's big. a portal and that sounds so freaking cool. We're in a portal. <laughs> um, I have friends that are definitely more well versed in what you should do during this time. But I think um, my very basic knowledge is set your intentions. The universe is very much open and listening to what you want. And tomorrow is the full moon, which is also the perfect time to release anything that does not serve you in this, um, when you are seeking and when you are moving towards the things that you want, as you are expanding on this life's journey, you need to release the things that aren't working. The full moon is the perfect time to do that. And today is the perfect time to decide what it is that you want, set those intentions, move forward with them. And then tomorrow you're like, I don't need yeah. this stuff to And I've anymore. literally been doing that since we woke up. <laughs> I've been like on the phone and um, uh, my friend from Toronto called and I've just been really present today. And I think that's- And last know, night so, <laughs> till like three in the um, morning. <laughs> but if you're, you know, so a new moon, new you, new year, it's kind of like a reset it's button. A full it's a full moon. Right. Right. But I mean, like, you set yeah, like your intentions a, a on the full moon. A new full moon. Right. <laughs> and so it's just a good check-in time not to have to wait for January 1st every year, but to kind of use your full moon as a reset button and <laughs> Hi, Craig. <laughs> um, to use that as a reset button and be like, okay, I'm going to set new intentions, put myself in the direction I want to go and constantly be recalibrating you right to be on the best path and this one taught me that if you have any kind of crystals you set them out in the moon and they charge yes that's so what i've been told i've never done it before but now that she's here i'm going to take full advantage of charging my crystals oh yeah i, I have like that it, like, yeah that sounds hot charging and your crystals we are crystals right people so set yourself out set yourself out to bask in the full moon tonight and allow yourself to be fully charged by nature's powerful energy Ooh. Mm. okay <laughs> and we're charging ourselves together <laughs> okay listen this principle is called the dalmatians principle right oh, wait first in this book, which is what we've been working on, um, and we're in principle eight. Yep. One more, one more to go. Two, well, this plus one. Yeah, so we are on principle eight from the Pam, Pam Grout book, E squared, and it is <laughs> nine. Sometimes. I know, Pam Grout E squared. Um, <laughs> uh, it is nine do-it-yourself energy experiments to prove that your thoughts create your reality. We have done seven of these already. We're introducing principle eight, which as Linda said, is the 101 Dalmatians principle. Okay, this is so cool. So I'm gonna give you the down and dirty version of this, right? It's, it's called non-locality. So it's the idea that communication does not have to, you don't have to touch something to communicate with it. You don't have to, the atoms don't have to be locally present in order to communicate. So you can have things across great distances and communicate, which is telepathic communication right and I'm really good at that it's like the one thing I own my magic of telepathic communications like I rock it um I've already had it work I kind of pre-read and called out two two people and have gotten instant communication like this is one of the experiments I will not have to stress out about <laughs> it already works it's everything working. else is bonus everything else is extra um but what's funny is I've always kind of seen it my mom has an identical twin sister and it's like th this is a very common thing amongst identical twins that they can telepathically communicate my mom and her sister have literally been doing it my entire life so I've seen it um and maybe that's why I'm naturally kind of a little better at it because I've it's something I've seen and practiced all of my life 
but that's the general gist of this principle, right? And well, you've have you've had evidence your whole life correct. that this exists. Yeah. So there is no resistance to it. Hi, happening. Rihanna. Hi, Rihanna. Um, so yeah, absolutely. The th the thing is, and for me, it was um, I'd had that experience with like thinking about people, and it's that you know you hear about these things, you think about somebody, and all of a sudden they call you, you think about a situation, but that's what and, this is. and this is exactly what this yeah. is. Um, and I experienced it also with Reiki because um, once I got my Reiki certification, I started doing healings and I started doing distance healings, and. I freaked myself out when I would do like a distance healing for somebody and I could sense what was happening in their body and they were nowhere near me. Um, and you know, it really is all explained. We're all energetic beings and we're all connected by energy and that energy does not stop. There's not like a, I stop here and you stop there. There is no stop. Everything is energetically connected and that's really what this principle is and what this principle is proving and what we're testing out. So the experiment this week is for you to think about, was it one people, one person, two people? No, it was, um, we're okay. looking up the information. <laughs> so here's the question. Can I send a message to someone without being in that person's presence? So you don't have to worry about the distance. I mean, it could be someone a mile away. It could be someone a thousand miles away. It's just that they're not <laughs> is that they're not in your, you know, your immediate, it's not someone you can like reach over and touch. Um, you have 48 hours, just like the others. And it says the approach is this. Okay. Field of potentiality. I'm hearing the melody from the twilight zone playing in the background, <laughs> but I'm willing to suspend judgment just this once to see if it might be one of those mysterious aspects of quantum physics. So you're going to ask, um, if you could send someone a message without being in that person's presence. But what she does say is to be clear, you know, like, do I just want to hear from them or is there something specific I want to hear from them? Is there a reason I'm calling? out that particular person right like to, one of the examples she uses like I'm telling my husband I need a loaf of bread and I've actually done that sometime with with Scott where <laughs> I'm like I don't know why I don't call him in these particular instances but I'll be like god I really feel like sushi tonight and he'll call me I'll be like babe do you want some sushi tonight I'm like yes you got my message <laughs> so I know this works from my own experience as well um, and you know people do this all the time even with family members who have you know crossed the veil right uh, Tex and I do that a lot yeah, yeah yeah I mean you can do this um, but we but in this particular experience do it with somebody who is currently in this time and space and living um, and set the intention of what you want to hear from them I think too like I'm always I'm kind of a re rebel like if I want to I want to disprove things as much as I want to prove things like That's I'm true. like I want to prove it doesn't work just as much as I want to prove it works so if you have that person in your life where you know you telepathically communicate with them like I'm not gonna use someone that I know I have a telepathic communication with in this experiment because I'm proving something I've already proven yes so I'm gonna try for someone that is unlikely to hear from or and you don't have to do that that's just me testing my boundaries like I wonder if I could get this person to call because I never hear from that person and it would be you know it, it's back to the size of the prize like. yes and also because if you're someone who's you know and don't do it with disbelief but but do it with try you know, not to do it try with not disbelief. to do it with disbelief linda <laughs> <laughs> but do it with like curiosity like i wonder exactly. if i you know send this message to my cousin who i haven't spoken to in six months if all of a sudden they'll call me and not with like i bet you that no but it's okay me, you know, to but, like, be a rule breaker and yeah. respect that and honor that like if you're a person who wants to play the other side you know on be okay with that like absolutely it's okay sometimes you prove what you need to know by trying to disprove it I, <laughs> I'm the queen of that you know like so whatever however you come into it so the bottom line is you're sending a telepathic message to someone be clear about the message and then give it 48 hours and see what happens so it is a form of synchronicity it's a form of energy not only creating your reality but convincing yourself that um, she uses this cool example in the book of whenever she wants to communicate to her family that lives abroad, she has an oak tree in her backyard and she talks to the oak tree because trees have been proven to have like telepathic abilities. Um, well, so she talks, yeah, communication. Other, yeah. So she goes into her backyard and talks to her oak tree and sends the message, you know, which 
is cool. Like if that's if I like you need, that idea. If though. you I'm, need a piece of nature, to, I mean, for you know, different experiments require different things. This one for me feels so much easier to believe because I, it just works for me. <laughs> but some of them I've really had to ground in something and anchor because. I had low believability with it, you yeah. know? So whatever this, however this resonates with you. Absolutely. So do what you need. And if you want, go talk to a tree and say like, please send this message to um, whoever needs to hear it or whoever you choose to hear it. Hi, Zila. Um, so that's it. That's to, that's this week's experiment. So keep in mind that we are launching our new show. Soul Seekers TV! <laughs> on Thursday, November 28th. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please do so right this second. Um, go to YouTube, type in Soul Seekers TV. You'll see our faces, so you'll know it's our channel. Subscribe and ding the bell. Yes, that's what she wanted for her birthday. 100 yes. subscribers. So if you love her, <laughs> you will go to Soul Seekers TV on YouTube and you will subscribe and then you will comment. Happy birthday, Trish. I'm a new <laughs> subscriber. Yay, that We're would be awesome. We're trying to get to 100, so help us out. And I'm still celebrating my birthday, even though it was on Saturday, so it still counts. So if you have not subscribed and you haven't, you know, if you've sent me a message already, that's okay. She's but in the Linda subscribe. zone. We celebrate birthdays. We, like, <laughs> juice the crap out of birthdays. So... <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hey, Tim. So, um, yeah, we're going to be celebrating her birthday till Tuesday afternoon. Oh, for sure. Um, so subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back to Facebook on Thursday or go to YouTube on Thursday because we'll also post there um, our video with our results and who contacted us. I'm excited to see. And reach out. If you get a communication from someone far away, tell us about it. Tell us and be excited and we'll share it. And um, we can't wait to hear from you guys. Uh, love Z Plane. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have an awesome, awesome <laughs> That noise is so fantastic. <laughs> We're going to go to the beach. Don't be jealous. And or be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you and thank you for watching. And go send out some telepathic communication into the world. See you later. Bye.